So we have quite a few bikes registered around here for the street, gas powered bikes. So with all the gas bikes registered around here, I was wondering if I could get an e-bike registered for the street. So in this video, I have all the wiring and lighting for a Megamoto 80105 e-bike. And what's cool about this lighting setup is it's all based on a lithium ion battery pack with LED lighting. So you can use it on a gas powered bike or an e-bike. So it'll work on either one. So I pretty much picked all this stuff up off of Amazon. So I got the power switch, lighted power switch, and the brake light, tail light, license plate light, license plate mount combo. Then I have the headlight, which bolts directly to the Megamoto 80. Then I have the 6,000 milliamp, 12 volt lithium ion battery pack. These are really cool because I used one on the Megamoto 212 and it runs the lights for a long time before you need to recharge. It switched, has the 12 volt output, and then you have the five volt output. And I also picked up some um, cable or a plug, an output plug, so I can run the wiring. And it comes with the plugs, charger. Yeah, it was kind of cool. When I picked up this light, I noticed that the mount bolts right on to the Megamoto 80 and it's adjustable. And it even mounts on with the hardware that came with the light. Well, that looks pretty good on there. I mean, it might not be legal for the street, but it looks good on there. So then my brake light, tail light combo, I think I'll mount right here. There's plenty of room on this bike. So I pull the seat off of here so it's easier to work with. Yeah, there's all kinds of room under here. So I have these two brackets that I cut off the Megamoto for the, uh, I think it was a fender mount. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, mount them here and then bolt them to the back of the light. And that way I can hang the light from the mounts right there. I think that'll work out. So drill the, uh, drill the holes for this bracket. You bolt that on there. So that looks like it'll work. So now I'll go ahead and mount that battery. And I think I'm gonna mount it under the seat like I did on that bike. And what's cool about this bike, it doesn't have an exhaust, so I can mount it right in the middle, it won't matter. So I'm gonna mount the battery right in the center of the seat and then make up these two straps and then um, rivet them on there. Also, I'll probably put some two-sided tape underneath just to hold it, just to be safe. All right, so I got my two-sided tape on there and I made up these straps from this strap metal that I got from the hardware store. And now I'll drill some holes here and then rivet, rivet it into the seat. And that should hold it. All right, so that looks like it'll work. So now I'll mount the seat on there. What's cool about it, I can just plug in my uh, adapter here, my wire, and then uh, I get power from the battery. Another cool thing about this setup is it doesn't draw enough amperage where you don't need any relays or anything like that. And it's fused inside, so I don't have to run inline fuses. So it's a real easy, simple setup. So if you get the seat on there, you can't see the battery, which is nice. And I like running this separate on its own circuit versus running it off the uh, e-bike battery, the 72 volt battery. It's easier just running this 12 volt system because this thing runs these LEDs for weeks without a recharge. Yeah, it fits nice up under there. So I got my switch all hooked up and ran down for the running lights. So the switch will just be for the uh, headlight and the uh, tail light. And then the brake light will be on a separate circuit or separate switch. And I'm gonna be using these connections, which are really cool. They solder and heat shrink the wires all at the same time. So it makes it really easy. But for now, I'm gonna temporarily hook up the wires and then I'll use those at the end. So I'll go ahead and hook up my um, headlight and tail light circuit up first and then I'll hook up the brake light 
So the wires off the tail light are red for the brake light, blue for the tail light, and then black for the ground. Then of course you have the um, red and black off the headlight. On this switch, it calls for the black to be hooked to the red or the power wire. So the black wire off of this switch is the power wire on this switch. So it goes to the red off of the battery temporarily. And then on this switch, the, um, the brown is the negative off of this switch. I mean, I could use chassis ground and just ground the, um, put the negative or ground wire to the chassis, but I already got the wires ran down, so I might as well just hook it here. So anyway, on this switch, brown is negative. So I'll hook it to the um, negative side of the battery, the black side of the battery. And then the blue wire from this switch is the equipment positive or the lights or the positive that goes to the lights so we're hooking up the um tail light right now so the blue wire off the light here is the tail light wire so i'll hook the blue to blue blue off of the switch which is equipment positive and then to the blue on the light And then I'll take my ground from the light and ground it to the uh, negative side of the battery. So now when we flip the switch, we should get a tail light. So we got the power to the switch coming on. There's a lighted switch. And then we have a tail light. So that circuit's complete. So now to hook the headlight to the circuit, which is the same switch. I have my um, red from the headlight and then my negative, my black from the headlight. So I'm gonna hook my red to the blue on the tail light, the equipment positive off the switch. And then I'm gonna hook my ground wire from the light, from the headlight black wire to black off the battery. So now when I hit the switch, I should have a lighted switch, a tail light, and a headlight. So we'll see. So we got the light comes on on the switch, got a tail light, and got a headlight. So there's that circuit. All right, so now that I got the uh, tail light and the headlight, hooked up to the switch. Now I'll hook up my uh, brake light circuit off of this switch and I made up this pigtail, just two wires and a couple plugs to go off the switch right here. So I'll plug that in and then I'll run it down. Plug my wires into the switch. So I got my pigtail, my wires, my plugs plugged into the switch on the brake handle and I got them ran down. I'm gonna run one side of the switch to the positive side of the battery. And then I'm gonna run the other side to the red on the light, because that's the battery side. What's cool about it, it's on a separate circuit, so, so now when you pull the handle, you got brake light. What's cool about it, you don't have to have the switch on to have the brake light work. So you can ride the bike in the daytime without the lights on and the brake light still works. Then you have the, uh, so you have the switch on, tail light, and then brake light. And then of course, headlight. So now everything's hooked up. So now I will hook up everything permanently using these uh, solder connectors. Yeah, these connectors make everything just super easy is a solder at the same time. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but once it gets hot enough, the, it'll automatically just solder. Brake light wire.
So I got all the wiring taped up and on there. So now I'll throw the now I'll throw the seat on it and hook up my hook up my battery. And we'll see if everything works. It's nice because everything looks nice and hidden. Got the headlight switch with the tail light, license plate light, and brake light combo. Got the brake light hooked up. Okay, so there we go. Easy lighting setup. You can pretty much use it on any bike.